What is going down everybody? This is Sarius and oh my goodness am I excited. This has been probably one of the most requested videos you guys have been wanting to see for such a long time. Welcome to the Art of Firebug Solo my friends. We're going to be rocking and rolling on the medieval Dark Ages map. The ruins of a beautiful castle known as Stronghold. It's an amazing map. I really think it's a lot of fun. But I want to make one thing very very crystal clear here for you guys so I don't want any misunderstandings among some of you new players. The firebug footage that you see right here is intended for solo based gameplay. Okay, if you're playing with a lot of your friends, you're playing with like a public server with a bunch of random people they haven't played with before, then you want to be able to only kill the basic Zed. You don't want to be going all out on the Screaks and the Flesh Bouncer that you see that is chasing me right now. <laughs> okay, because you're going to set them on fire, they're going to start running around and you can get the whole team killed because their health on a full server is super high. So you got to be real careful with that, okay? So I just want to stress that. We're going to get right back to the exciting gameplay. We're jumping right to waves 10 of 10, and we're going to the Patriarch Baby. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have a beautiful barbecue, so I really hope you brought the barbecue sauce, my friends, because it's going to be pretty crispy. So, guys, right here, the kite path and rotation I like to take is sort of a counterclockwise fashion. And it's funny, if you stay tuned, you're going to actually see some blooper footage of me desperately trying to beat the map and, and failing quite a few times, actually. Uh, so, it's pretty funny. Uh, I hope everybody's doing good, though. I've missed all of you. I hope everyone's doing well. And I've been so excited to get this video out. It's amazing. I'm finally starting to get back into the flow of Sarius Games getting back into the game, you know. And it's been such an incredible thing. And I really appreciate everybody's patience. Y'all have been amazing in the support is it's so amazing just how great this community is i can't even tell you like if you if you take a look at like the majority of the adversarial and even dare i say co-op games in, in other like in other communities like people are hating on each other it just it's crazy i don't want to identify the negative too much but you know it's so amazing when you have such a great community of people that are helping each other out you know and that's what sorry's game is all about it's about you know, real life stuff. It's about being able to uplift other people and help each other become better. Be the best version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, guys, let's get back off the soapbox. And let's get back to the gameplay. 71 Zez left to go. 10 to 10. I've got a flesh pound. No, not just one. Two of them going nuts on me. And the biggest thing is you have to break line of sight. Treat it like you're kiting with a berserker, right? You want to stay mobile. That's really where the fire bug excels notice how i'm using the trench gun i really enjoy the trench gun it's a great weapon very powerful and you know the thing that i love about this thing is it, it's not just great up close like a shotgun would be it also has this huge dragon breath shotgun shell thing going on so the longer the, the more distance you cover you can like Boom, this thing sprays out like crazy amounts of like fiery shells and it will like annihilate anything that is like a trash Zed. It's it's absolutely crazy. So if you get high ground, you can shoot down on a bunch of like enemies and you can light them all on fire and, and possibly kill them very quickly. So again, this shotgun is super awesome. I think that the design choice to make this makes the fire bug one of my favorite classes, honestly. When it was just the flamethrower and the and I, 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 the Mac 10 wasn't even there back, back in the day, if I can correct. They started adding that later. Uh, the fire bug itself, I was just wasn't a. I was leveling it up, but I wasn't a big fan of it. I'm just like, ah, oh, just there's so many other awesome classes, and I don't like the fire bug. But it's funny. Ever since I started breaching into solo based gameplay uh, for Killing Floor, mainly because my internet was just going crappy at a certain time in 2013. I look back, I'm like, dude, this is really fun. You can you can level up, you can burn enemies to a crisp. I mean, and, and who doesn't want to burn Christmas Zeds? It's just it's like just one of those things that goes hand in hand, you know, guys. <laughs> so again, you notice that I am just very slowly bleeding out the flesh pound. Now you're probably wondering, hey, Sars, why aren't you going for a speed kill? The, the thing about this though is it, the fire bug is more about a war on attrition, in my honest opinion. You're here to slowly bleed the enemy, and by, and I'm, by bleed I mean burn to a crisp. You're slowly crisping up that flesh pound. And yes, could I go for let's say a speed kill with an off perk M32 or you know explosive damage? Because again, the flesh pound does have confirmed weakness against explosives. Yes, of course, but. For the most part, it's like I'm, I'm really not in a big hurry at this point. I'm sort of just kind of taking in the sights, enjoying myself. And I, I know that a lot of multiplayer servers are into just kind of like results quick. Because I know, you know, the health is crazy. You can get swarmed easy. So that's a different mindset. I think with the solo mindset, you're, you're, it's really on you, dude. Everything is sort of coming into this perfect sort of synchronicity here. And you're all just sort of working your way over and forward. You don't have to rush it too much. Just be safe. 
and keep moving forward. That's that's my honest. That's that's the way that I play. A little bit more methodical than let's say if I'm playing like a sharpshooter or going for a more crazy class. You know. You, you could easily take down the flesh pound and you notice it really isn't that bad as a fire bug it's really not that bad at first i was like oh geez i'm gonna get my butt kicked and blah blah, blah. i mean and the only errors and failures that i had were really on myself being basically moving too slow or moving too fast and having the zeds back spawn me you know th things like that you know killing enemies too fast so notice how i don't really touch a whole lot of the zeds until i know that the flesh pound has been dealt with that's a very important thing because the last thing you really need is to have a lot of backspawn basically ambushing you and ganking you from nowhere and then basically coming back and being like, oh geez, you know, I have this flesh pound on my tail and you get sandwiched. I've had that happen too many times, guys. Against Scrakes, it's a really cool strategy. Basically, all you gotta do, really, you just take your trench gun, right? And you're backpedaling. You have to get, I'd probably say, a good 20 meters away from the scrake. And make sure it's a nice long hallway. And just let the shotgun do its work. Look at the beautiful, like, fire breath, dude. You're just like a drag. You feel like a dragon, like Pyro the Dragon. If you guys have ever played Pyro the Spyro the Dragon for PlayStation, it's kind of like that. You're just, just blowing things away, man. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, just, it's good times. Like, right here. Boom. You can just see just how you don't have to connect a whole lot of shots for a one-man solo scrake, you know what I mean? But again, like I said, I gotta stress this for you new players that are gonna get all excited, being like, I'm gonna totally go with Sarius's advice, and then they go and end up joining a six-man Hell on Earth server, <laughs> and they're lighting things left and right, and they're just getting everybody angry. The thing about the community is it's a very small, tightly knit community, which I've met some of my greatest gaming friends in the whole wide world, so thank you. It's just such a great community. But as as such, I want y'all to be aware of you know really what you're getting into because it's so easy to you know develop a reputation. Uh, some gamers don't have a great reputation in game in Hell on Earth, you know, and they, they, it's a very quick reputation that they get. And I just want you guys to be on deck to know that, you know, again, if you're going to be a firebug, got to be real careful. So, uh, long story short, I want you all to do very well. I want you to be very successful. I can't believe how fast this, this round went. I didn't want you guys to have to sit through an entire wave 1 through wave 10, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. But... Again, guys, we're just, we are we are cranking out. And again, Patriarch Fight, I, I found a really good place, like right here in the Cathedral. You can really perch up pretty well. And the Flamethrower does a surprising amount of damage for even single-player gameplay. It's great. And you're going to see I loaded basically two pipe bombs around the corridors. I wanted to get literally a contingency plan on both sides so I don't have to be in line of sight of the Patriarch. You see what I'm saying? while that damage goes off. And the double pipes are do a great amount of damage. Again, we're not trying to instantly kill the Patriarch because that just isn't going to work right now in this situation. Or we can just go straight in, do enough damage, get him to rush us, and then we can counter rush him. That's pretty much what my strategy is. So it sounds like he's coming from the right side. You gotta be real careful, hear your sound. And boom, here he is. As soon as I get line of sight on him, I'm just dumping. Now again, dragging down, and I think a little bit down to the right. And the burn damage did the rest. You can see just Firebug is an absolute beast on the solo gameplay. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sarius. It's been a quick video, but I know that some of the videos, the retention time is about five to six minutes, give or take. So I'm going to try something new. I have a huge list of gamers that I want to thank you so much for all your help. And guys, in no particular order, thank you so much for all that you do. I love y'all. This is Sarius. I hope to catch you on the flip side. Give that hiya like button a karate chop if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see some more. I'll catch y'all later. This is Sarius. Rock steady. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god.